there. Happy Friday. Hey, everybody. And we're headed out to try a new restaurant, at yeah. least new for us, not new to the area, I don't think. It's in Bristol, Rhode Island, and it's called Brick Pizza Brick Pizza? Company. Yeah. Brick Pizza Co. Brick Pizza Company. Uh -huh. It's uh, Brick. highly recommended by my sister and uh, brother-in-law who, who say it's great, awesome pizza, nice Italian food, and um, really nice bar and drinks. So we're giving it a try. We're hungry. It's been a uh -huh. long week and uh, just the start of the weekend for us. So we will see you when we get to Bristol and when we arrive at the Brick Pizza Co. and let you know what we think. See you there. See you there. Oh. All right, so we're here at Brick. I'll stay in line here and you can... Pretty cool. All refurbished, really nice. Yeah, quite the place. We'll, uh... Have to check it out and see. Nice brick ovens over there. Let me see. That's pretty cool. Got our orders in, and I'm gonna get. Well, I got a. Um, it's called the Delecta, and it's actually like an espresso drink with that uses Delecta's coffee syrup. That's a local thing. That is definitely a Rhode Island or New England thing, anyway. You mean not autocrat? No, this is Delecta's. There's a place in Warren. There's a pharmacy, and they used to make the coffee cabinet. It came out of Delecta's, so. Uh, I used to go there. I haven't been there in many, many years, but I know they're still there. Okay. Anyway, so they based off that idea. And I ordered for us, we're going to try their dry rubbed wings, their spicy ones, and it comes with like a blue cheese sauce on the side. And, and a peri peri and sauce. And it's got peri peri on it, yeah. right? Yeah. We'll see how that one goes. We're going to get, what, a meatball sub? It's like a Parmesan meatball sub because we want to try their meatballs. And they had it as an app, but we're kind of thinking maybe it'd be... Let's just get the grinder and we'll share it and we'll get a good sampling of their meatballs. And lastly, we're going to try the pizza. So we picked the Bristol pizza, which is uh, also very New Englandy with its linguiça and cherise. And it's got the, uh, what was the peppers on that? Is it? It was a Fra Diavolo sauce. A Fra Diavolo, yeah. With, uh, and there was peppers and... I think it was pepper rings. I think it's pepper rings as well. So it might be a banana pepper, maybe. Yeah. So, but we're going to try that out. And that's pretty much everything. You've got your martini as usual. And I do have, there's a, it's a fall drink that I'm going to try next after this Delecta. Yeah. And it's actually, uh, it's really all around apple flavors. So there's like a, there's even, and like even like some nutmeg and cinnamon. It's, it's going to probably almost like, um, like getting a, a spiced apple, you know, right. what is, what am I trying to think of? You know what I'm saying? A drink, uh, cider, like okay. an apple cider idea. So we'll see how it goes. I'll try them out. That's what we're getting for food. Hopefully we'll have a dessert too. Yeah. Maybe we'll see, uh, what we get there too. So, all right. My, uh, I don't think I've ever ordered a drink that spelled the restaurant name in the top of the drink. So I'm going to ruin their writing. I wonder if, I don't know what they use to spell it. Obviously it looks like it's coffee crema or whipped cream. Well, it's an espresso and there is, um, like I said, coffee syrup in there and stuff. It's actually pretty nice. It's got a nice little sweetness and it's not too sweet, but it's pretty good. Very martini-ish. Well, I like it. Very nice. And speaking not of martinis, too, not too strong. No, it's, those are you nice big olives. olives. Those are big ones. Nice queen. Yeah. I'd say they're queen for sure. So. Uh, a little extra salty. Pretty good though. Nice. This is the dry rubbed wings yeah, spicy with wings peaty with... peaty sauce, and this is a whipped blue cheese. I'm going to try a drumette. 
Oh wow, I like the char. Yeah, that's pretty dry and good char to it. It's, yeah. it's, I like how it's not wet when you pick it up like a yeah. buffalo wing. It's not I'm that sticky buffalo style. This sauce first. So that's piri piri. Yep. Oh, and just take a bite. You can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know you're trying to fork it, but take a bite. It's a wing. We're not at, you know, this isn't Hemingway's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this isn't that high end. This is a. So is that that must be a, a good tang to it, the pity pity. The dry rub is spicier than that sauce. But I am gonna. I wanna. I wanna put a go. little more sauce on. Something is spicy, and I like it. Oh no, there's a lot of pepper in the peri peri. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But now I'm going to actually now add. You can counter and go back. Yep. This is a whipped. It looks like they took blue cheese dressing and put it in a mixer. There you go. Oh man, the combo is excellent. Now you you did it with both sauces, so yep. It, that definitely. So you got cools. some of the heat and then you got counted it. Yep. This totally cools it off. Oh yeah. A oh. whipped ranch, I think, might even work here. But uh, the blue cheese has that funk. I really prefer a blue cheese on hot, on spicy wings. I don't know what it is. I just prefer it. So the fact that there's char and burn on here, I love. There we go. So well, so it's good. It's a good wing, right? Very often. Now, how's that? How crisp is the skin? Well, how would you say? Very crispy. Normally, our wings don't have crispy skin, and the skin is a little chewy. Well, when with the you sauce. have a wet sauce on them, it does. It's hard to reach that same crisp this without is, frying. This is so. totally different. Yeah. All right. Well, let me try the dry rub. Yeah. See what I think. Sorry, right, let me. I'll do it like you did. I'm gonna do a bite, just the pretty pretty. The pretty pretty sauce is spicy, and the dry rub also spicy, but it's yummy. And look how hot steam. Nice level of heat. There's a good amount of heat with. There's heat. Because I'm really getting that spicy wing, and I only added spicy on top of it, right? So. Let's go back like you did and counter it. Yep. Some blue the cheese. The wing is very crispy though. It is nice and crispy. We very often do not get crispy. You make crispy at home, but in restaurants, it's usually buffaloed and sauced up and it takes the crisp away and there's no char. This has total char. And it's a thin blue cheese, but it is a nice cooling amount. Does it's a, a whipped. Nice. It's whipped. It's, it is thin. a very light blue cheese so let's see if i can uh find my piece in here i'm trying to i like to pull that bone out okay now there's here just comes, one bone here comes the it's hot though the wing is like just it's flaming temperature hot. hot not not flaming hot 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 no, temperature hot to hold that is really nice though i'll mix them up Yeah, that pulls it off really well. And it's got a it's nice crust to it. Cooling. It just adds a cooling factor and then the flavor comes through. This is outstanding. There's a wing. They're a really good little batch of wings they make. Alrighty. That's a nice order. Yeah. We'll be back when the uh, meals come, the pizza and, and the, the uh, meatball sub. Yep. So, wow, I'm uh, so excited. It came with a salad. Ooh, grinder arrived. I know what those little green seeds are. I can't think of the name. Which green seeds? It's like that are on that cucumber right there. To the left. Right there. Yeah, those. Papers? No, uh, they're seeds, though. I don't know. Let me just the, taste this because I was in the... I yeah, wanted you Caesar wanted some and salad. I didn't order it. But what is this? Is this like a roasted pepper of some sort? Or well, maybe turnip? I don't know. Oh, if it's turnip, I will like it. That is a... What or not? I don't know. It's one of them. That bad. looks like a yellow bell pepper. Does it? It looks yeah. squishy to me. Are you sure? No, uh, I think th I think that might be yellow bell. Oh, it might be. A, it is a thick rind, so maybe it is a squash. What a piece of cheese. Is this cheese? Yeah, it's Parmesan, shaved Parmesan, right? A little shaved Parmesan in there. I want to bite up because... I'm Let's see what so you get. There's one on this side. You didn't get it. I didn't get it yet. I'm fishing for it. Oh, here we go. I got All one. All right. What's it got, like an Italian on it? Very fresh tasting. Like a, I'm usually more of a romaine, and there is romaine here. There's also other... That's green. mixed greens. That's... Mm -hmm. But 
There's a <sighs> sweetness to something. I don't know what that is. Taste that one. There you go. So I am going to be the guinea pig. I'm almost thinking uh, acorn. Maybe acorn. I don't know. I got some parm cheese. As long as it's not bell pepper. Is it cooked? Yeah, it's not pepper. No. Okay. Yeah, it's nice and mild, on Hey, it went good with the Parmesan. I'm going to eat it with the cheese. Yeah. And I do like the very, very light Italian dressing on it. Of, uh, see what you think of their meatball. Yep. Ready? And that's a Parmesan sub. It's got some sauce on it. I don't know. Is it a marinade, marinara sauce? Yeah. It's a very savory meatball. Is it? Yeah. I can tell it's a blend of pork, meat, maybe some breadcrumbs. It has that smooth consistency. It's not very grainy like it would be if it were just hamburger. Oh, nice. Very light sauce, not sweet at all. Um, not a lot of cheese. I do they prefer slice it up or do they do halves? How do they? They're, no, it's a whole meatball. Oh, they're putting whole. Oh, it so it must have to be halved where they cut it in the middle then. The meatball is very, very good. I would like in a sandwich a little more cheese and sauce than I have here. Yeah. But that's probably because they want to showcase the, the meatball. Meat. Yeah. It's a pine nut. It's a nice Mine big has one too. Figured out it's a pine nut. Yeah, that's a pine nut. Eating and the salad. And I did like this. I like how they grilled it. Yep. That's definitely acorn squash. I don't know what it is. It was yummy. That's acorn. Especially with the light Italian dressing. And what was that one? Butternut, maybe? Don't know. Oh, it is a very bright, like Italian. Nice, light, very vinegary. Not very, not very oily, though. I like very it. Very vinegary. And, yep, Bristol. So I'm bringing on in. Our Bristol has arrived. Thank you. All right. Well, before I try the Bristol, which I will, let me try this meatball. Nice seasonings in there. That's mozzarella. It's a light. It's not a heavy meatball. And yeah, like you said, it's very savory. That's really good. And the bread is great. Very good. Bread is delicious. I'm ready. So that is, that's definitely uh, banana that's pepper that's on there. Ah. Mm. Very smoky. Nice and nice. I like that Fra Diablo hunt. Better than marinara? It's a, nice, it's a nice choice to go with that Fra Diablo. That's what it looks like. Pizza nope. has linguiso, shodis, peppers. The linguiso is very good. It's not. Um, it's not the hot linguiso. It's um, that nice mild. And lots a lot of flavors come through. The crust is nice and thin, which we like a lot. My favorite. And the edges are nice and crispy. Let me try an actual. Mm. Even the crust is nice and thin, honey. It's light. Yeah, this pizza. I could eat this pizza. I could really do some damage. And I like the I little like bit of burnt char on it, see? Mm -hmm. Very thin crust is my yeah, favorite. Yeah, just a little char on the edge. So I'm going to take Slightly a piece right in front of me here. find one that you think uh, is your size? No. <laughs> I'm just going to try one that I can pick up. Oh, that's got a lot of linguiça, a lot of meat on that one. That's a nice piece. Yeah, and some of the pepper. The pepper's not too hot, which is nice. I like the thin crust. I like the char. Yeah. It's not that spicy at all. No. And smoky, right? It's wonder what. I think the smokiness comes from the linguine and chorizo, and from the fact that the brick oven. The brick it. oven's gotta be. Yeah. I can feel the ground cornmeal underneath the crust. Almost has that smell to it too. It's a linguine. I can taste the smoked linguine. Yeah. Okay. This is really good. 
Oh, yeah. This is a delicious pizza. It's not like the kind of pizza you get takeout or delivery. This is like a real pizza, pizzeria type pizza. That's a good choice. So, so it looks like that's a dried apple that they put on there. I think so. Seasonal. Yeah. And it's even got a little bit of cinnamon on it. It's nice. And this is their fall G and T. I believe that's it's what they white, call it. It's like a vodka based drink. Very apple. Mm. There's a citrusy. I think it's lemon. I think there's a little a touch of lemon to it. Nice and sweet. They couldn't spell the name out this time, but that's okay. It's still, this is nice, light. It's not a strong drink at all. Perfect. And, well, I thought this was a big piece, but it's two. It's two it, because you took two and flattened and it over. And I folded it over. And I used to work at a restaurant called Riccardi's and they make this thin, thin, super thin crust. You can always take two pieces, and fold them over, and there you go. Well, how does mm. this stack? Mm. That's smoke from the brick oven. The Cardi's is good, but you don't get that. This is a really nice pizza. Nice, light, great dough. They did a great job. So they recognized us from the YouTube channel and they brought us a plated uh, meatball They really appetizer. wanted us to try. Here, let me see. I'm going to come in nice and close. What is on top? Is that like... That's, um, it looks like it might be a Parmesan crisp, but I will okay. check. And the meatball looks outstanding. Oh, absolutely. And there's a lot of sauce here, which was Oh, uh, Which sandwich. we didn't get on the sandwich, we felt, but we liked the sauce. Yeah, I'm going to make a best they bite made up for it. What you got there. That looks pretty good, hon. All right, there you go. <laughs> so, the question is, is it the same as the sub, or is there a difference? It's different. It is. It's different because of the sauce. Oh. The amount of sauce and to the, meat. And the mascarpone on top. But this is delicious. Oh, it looks so good. And, the and their presentation is very nice for that. They really... You can tell they, they really like bring it forward. So I guess it's my turn to let you see what I think. I think it's a fried cheese. I'll bet you it's a crumble. I wish I knew for sure, but I'll bet you that's a, wait. That's a piece of like fried cheese. Like it may just be done on a, on a skillet and like bubbled up and then work to the point where it gets nice and dry and crisp and then they crumble it over there. I know that's what they had to do. Yep. So, and you think, do you think it's mascarpone? I don't know, it was just yummy. All right, it looks a little, it doesn't look as dense as that one. The meatball, it's got some nice color to it. It's got a little bit of red, like maybe a little more on the burger. And there's a it's very likely the same, but I gotta try this. It does, now the other, off the sandwich, it doesn't have that cheese. I'm so telling you it's the same meatball. But. But, the presentation with the extra marinara, that cheese on top, that, oh. That makes it. And I really do like the little crumbled fried. Great appetizer. Cheese on the, on, those little crumbles are great. Great appetizer. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, and I see you got your little spoon. Let's see what you think. Nice and light. Oh my God. I love a palate cleanser and this is not just a palate now, cleanser. I hope the color comes through the same. No, because through the phone, the color looks a lot more white, a lot lighter. It's, it's, a, it's, it's just a, good. Nice. I don't care if we save that for tomorrow because this is so amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm oh. going to have to try them both and see what I think, too. The apple might not make it. I thought that was amazing. I see nice chunks of apple in there. 
they diced it up. I see it covered in cinnamon and probably some nutmeg. It was delicious. No. It reminds me of almost of like a bread pudding. Yeah. Right? It's a nice light. And then you even almost had like that whole monkey bread effect with the cinnamon kind of going all through it. Exactly. If it had a little bit of um, like a uh, an icing, you'd almost have like a, a monkey bread going on for sure. But hold on. That is really good. Let me try that. Oh, it's a very flavor forward. It, the flavor jumps right out of this little guy here. Oh, yeah, we got to finish that. <laughs> very good. It's nice and soft. It's not, it's rough. So, what yeah, dessert? There are little seeds in there, just a couple. Both but, desserts but are man, amazing. I don't know if they probably make it here. I suspect they probably do. They probably make it here. I don't know where they're made, but if you're here and you want a dessert, please order these. They're so awesome. This is great. Quick peek over here into this extra functional. The big screen, nice little bar. It's great. So nice little private room. All right, everybody. Well, there you go. That's brick. And absolutely everything is actually complex. And they did a beautiful restoration there. I mean, that, that is exactly. very, very nice. So, hey, that's uh, Dwayne and Edia, Food, Travel, and Fun. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, uh, next restaurant, next boat, next kitchen, little cooking next extravaganza, recipe, yeah. next recipe. Uh, we have plans right? next yeah. month or two. We've got a couple of trips coming up. So we we will, uh, more vacations, more cruises. Yeah, we'll be showing you some places. See you soon. And see you soon. Thanks.